Hello Twin Flames and welcome to the Divine Masculine reading for Wednesday. So, I thought I'd bring in the Divine Oracle today by our soul sister Sheree from Divine Visions to do an energy check on the masculine because later on I'm doing the DM to the F reading where he communicates to you. But let's see what he's going through in his physical world and his emotions and his mind because they give me the song, Where is my mind? Where is my mind? So, you know, he's trying to work out where his mind is right now. You know, his emotional state, his physical reality. He's going through a lot of ascension symptoms too. And we spoke about that yesterday. And he's releasing all this fear. So I really want to kind of take a closer look into what's going on. So thank you, angels. What's the energy around the divine masculine? It's definitely moving forward. I've just seen a motorbike go past again. You know, I'm also going to split the deck and see if any other cards are moving here. Yeah, there we go. So what's energy is he in then? We've got peace and forgiveness. Wow. So he's moving into a more peaceful energy because he's been working on forgiveness. And this is very clear, you know, that the masculines have this huge need to forgive themselves for the things that they feel they've done wrong. And really, they've been learning. You know, every time I see this kind of very clean white energy it's purity you know it's purity it's like the color of an angel feather you know very pure it's innocent and clean and it feels like he's cleaning up his act he's healing himself and you know he needs to feel pure it's a lot like how we feel when you know we get baptized and I've been there you know I was baptized after I went through um, an affair you know with one of my Catholics because I just felt like I needed to start afresh. And I felt I needed to clean, you know, my vibration and my energy of, of all of that kind of guilt and pain and shame in a way. And I feel this is where the masculines are. So they, in a way, want to be spiritually baptized to release themselves from all of the pain and shame and blame because of everything they've done to you. You know, because your connection, it's very pure, it's very beautiful, it's like the colour of angel wings. It's innocent and magical and, you know, it's it's unconditional. And that's a very pure love. And that's why nothing can ever, you know, take that away from you guys. That's why nothing can ever taint it. No matter what happens, no matter what karmic situation is going on or, you know, what occurs between you, it's beautiful love. And nothing can ever kind of darken that shade of white, you know. It's purity, it's beautiful, it's love. So it feels like he wants to, well, he really does want a new beginning anyway. You know that, that's been coming up very clear. And that's this new cycle we're about to begin. But it feels like he wants to, in a way, be energetically baptised to release himself from all that, that guilt and shame and blame and pain and everything he's done wrong so he can once again feel reborn. And this is also the energy we're moving towards with Easter coming up and that's a real energy about resurrection and, you know, releasing sins and things like that. And that's what he's doing. He's trying to release his sins. You know, the things he feels he's done wrong, whereas in spiritual truth, he is your greatest teacher. So all the things he has done have actually happened to you, Divine Feminine, to grow you. So the masculine is in this energy where he, he is moving into a more peaceful energy of, of forgiveness. So forgiveness heals. They're giving me a lot of fear. So he's definitely releasing himself and, you know, he's walking through the fire to get to you. But he's also healing himself too. So I am being shown being baptized or walking through a body of water to get to you. And I also feel... That's also a message about if there is an ocean between you, you know, if there is any physical distance between you, he's walking through that or he's going to get through that to get to you. So that can also be, you know, travel and moving forward. Destined love. Wow. Destined love. So he knows that this love is destined. He knows it's meant to be. And this is where he's been because he's been working all of this out, doing all the research you know, finding out all the knowledge and connecting with his own self to realise this, that this is fate and destiny and it's truly meant to be. We've got tap into your creative spirit. And I love this because we are in this, in the energy of this new moon. 
And this new moon is bringing in creativity because it's a new moon in Pisces. And the harp and the dove also symbolise peace. So I feel the masculine today is in a more peaceful energy than he has been for a while because he's been going through this energetic baptism and, you know, this energetic healing of the past. And the beautiful pink energy here is Archangel Ariel. Okay, you can see this is Archangel Jophiel to the beauty angel. He sees the beauty in you, Divine Feminine, and that also brings him in peace. And, you know, he's hoping for your forgiveness too. But I am seeing this as Archangel Ariel helping him to create what he needs to create in the physical world. So this is about him moving towards a new beginning. You know, something he wants to create not only for you and him, but for himself. So he can feel more pure because he's doing what he's guided to do. You know, what resonates with his soul, what feels good to him instead of living that lie. So he's feeling more pure in his own soul, in his own self. He's feeling like he's releasing himself from all that baggage and all that destructive energy and all that chaos that's been holding him back. We've got Gemini. Wow. And Gemini is connected with the twins. He says, innovative, quick-witted, socialized. So again, we've got this twin energy you know, where you are the same, you are one and wherever he is, whatever he's doing, he can't run from you or hide from you. You're always there, you know, that you're always within him. And I'm seeing that as you guys, what, you know, mold, like two bodies merging into one because you do, you know, a lot of people say twin flames look alike and you have the same features and all of these things, but it's because as you get closer to union, you feel like you're merging into one. So you see each other in each other. So even if you don't look alike at all, it can look to other people and yourself like you're very similar because of the similarity in you, you know, because you are one. So you're merging into each other. So there's going to be more opportunities to socialize with each other be, and, you know, the masculines are showing you they're becoming more quick to take up those opportunities. You know, and quick-witted is also about thinking on your feet. You know, socialite is about being out in the open, coming into his own, you know, and, and sharing himself with the world. So he's becoming more himself. This is what I'm feeling. He's feeling more at peace with being his own self, but being his true self. You know, he's cleansing himself of all the negative energy all the lower things that he's been doing, all the crazy things, the way he's been acting and behaving over the years and he's releasing himself and he's really focused on this love because it's destiny, spiritual awakening. So you're being reminded it's all part of his journey, it's all part of his transformation and it's all part of your transformation too because you are one. So he's going through a huge spiritual awakening, the dawn of a new day you know, a new era, the light being shed up upon the earth on his physical world. And, you know, that's why he's releasing all of these things. And you are almost there. You're almost there. So this is also a message for you, Divine Feminine, where your mask is saying to you, please don't give up on me or us because we are almost there. We are on this verge of a new beginning, you know, the precipice of this change. And to move it forward. And I feel that you may receive all these signs today, you know, maybe in the world. So you could see signs in clouds, maybe in universal power, the 222, the spiders. You may even see, you know, visions or images of the world and the universe that you are one. And Gemini energy is also about the energy of June, you know, as we move forward into July. So again, the summertime energy coming in, rebirth moving forward big changes so especially with the new moon today it's about creation so there's a creation happening right now you know they show me in this like they show me two things first of all they show me superman you know in the old christopher reeve superman films where he goes into the sky and he flies around the earth and you see this kind of image so that's your man. Look at that. Wow. Can you see that? As I move my finger up and down, it looks like the, the colours going in and out. So it going brighter and lighter. So the masculine transforming into Superman for you, which is really the energy of the Emperor. You know, he's working through all his fears. I mean, look at if you watch Superman 2, 
you know, is it Superman 2 or Superman 3? One of them, I think it might be 3, where he loses his powers. And he has to fight through his human things, you know, the human aspects of himself. Because what you have to remember is we are spiritual beings, which is our superhero side. That's our Superman side. You know, we've come from somewhere else, like, you know, Kal-El comes from Krypton to Earth. So we come to this earth plane and we're given a human body and we have to overcome the ego, which is part of that human body, you know, and it ages and it goes through struggle and pain and disease and all these things. So we get stronger spiritually. So our soul thrives. And, you know, what Superman does is he loses powers and he has to find them again. But he goes through real trials and tribulations as a human man. And the masculine goes through that too. You know, he deals more intensely with the physical world than the feminine because the feminine is more tapped in with the divine. And that's why, you know, you can handle things what seems to be so much better than your twin because you have that access always to the, the that power, you know, to that kind of Kryptonian energy if you want to see it that way. But this is you connecting with your guides and your masculine thrives off that because he picks up on that through you. You know, your life force, your connection with source is given to him through that. So it's very powerful. So the masculine is going through this big, deep awakening right now, big transformation. He's finding himself and he's becoming this superhero. So he can leave behind the past and move forward towards his future, being his true, authentic self. And that's the message. So I really feel this energetic baptism happening right now where he's being released and healed of everything that needs to go so he can be reborn in this fresh energy of forgiveness and peace. So if you see white flowers today, angel wings or, you know, feathers, it's a big sign or doves, you know, anything that's pure, like purity energy. It's a big sign that he's been healed and cleansed, ready to begin again with you and that's also you know if he's done things he isn't proud of you know like having numerous kind of sexual partners or you know he's done things to you he didn't really you know feel good about you know whether that was sensually sexually energetically he's releasing himself of all that so it's really like he's being born again as a virgin to be with you and when you are together in union it's like you are in a way re-virginized because you're feeling everything experiencing everything as if for the first time because it is magical and all new and wonderful because it's something very very special when you are as one i hope this helps have a great day and i'll see you soon